Oh, there's three. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that juice. Oh, forget notes. Forget notes. I don't do iris. I don't do all those things. So be honest. Go for Cairo. Whew, it is beautiful. The fragrance is the fragrance. Yeah, you're, you're halfway between. Should I forgive them? Should I not forgive them? That's Constantinople. Let me be myself I drink perfume. You are my Niger person. Go for Cairo. It's just enough to let people know that you are the ish. Because other people are going here and you want to go the other way. I finally cracked the code. You don't want them to waste your time. Talk quick. I'm, I'm out of here. I had this perfume on my wish list. I'm not sampling anything else. I don't want to try anything else. If I had just seen the notes of this fragrance, I will not touch it. I don't like Impressa. That's my vibe. That's my juice. That's my thing. Read my lips. The next best thing. Please subscribe. I'm hungry. Speed. Speed. Production, take one. Uh, no, hey babies, welcome back to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and become part of the family. Oh my god, I'm so excited to be back today because I was this this close to not filming today this close but i'm so proud of myself that i was able to finally get on camera sometimes it's discipline over passion today is one of those days where it's discipline that is literally winning over my passion for doing this anywho in today's video i will be bringing you my thoughts my review my commentary on the next best perfume from Penhaligon. So I did a review of Penhaligon's Cairo about two, three years ago. It was the first perfume from Penhaligon's that I bought. Since then, I can say, hand on heart, that Cairo is the most gifted perfume. It's a perfume that I have gifted out the most. Actually, is it? I think it is actually. It's a perfume that I have gifted out the most. And that's not because I don't like Cairo. It's just because I actually like it that much that I recommend it to loads of people and just end up buying them, buying it for them. If you haven't seen my Cairo video, I will link it in the description box. You definitely need to go check it out. But in today's video, let's talk about the next best thing. Read my lips. The next best thing from Penhaligons. Who better to talk to you about the next best thing from Penhaligons, if not me? Are you ready? Yes, guys, yes, guys. Yes, guys, guys, we are back again with another video. I'll start off with a quick, quick backstory if I tell you what the fragrance is. Maybe the thumbnail has already given it off, I don't know. Quick backstory, a couple of days ago, I was in London with a friend. We ended up going to the Penhaligon store in Covent Garden. Before I went to Penhaligon's that day, I had this perfume on my wish list because I had actually smelt it on a friend. I was like, what have you got on? It smells amazing. You know, at this point, let me just say what fragrance it is. It is Constantinople from Penhaligon. Silence. I know that from Abby We Love has also recommended that perfume to me. So I was like, hmm, I think I like it. it goes straight on my wish list. Went into the Penhaligon store, sampled a couple of perfumes. There are some other perfumes I actually do find quite interesting. I did sample Alula, which is the latest release from Penhaligon's. I'll probably do a review on Alula. Today, I will be talking about Constantinople. Just being in Penhaligon's heaven with all the perfumes. We had sampled a couple of fragrances for my friend. It, it then came to my turn. Then it was a case of, okay, so what do you want? And do you know, to be honest, on one hand, I'm actually like, yeah, what do I want? The store assistant was like, can I show you something? I'm like, yeah, sure. I mean, I'm here, go for it, show me. The next thing she picked up Constantinople, which was the perfume that I would sort of say was on my wish list from Penhaligons. And I don't really have a long wish list. And I should probably do a video of my wish list. I should probably do that actually. If you want to see that video, let me know and I'll film it for you guys. Anyways, she recommended Constantinople. And I was like, I had this perfume on my wish list. I'm not sampling anything else. I don't want to try anything else. Let's just get Constantinople. And here it is. So we're going to do a quick unboxing. I'm actually going to unwrap it and tell you guys what I think on camera. They were kind enough to give me a sample of Impressa. I don't like Impressa. I do not like Impressa. I find that it's very green. But you know, when people give you gifts, you can't turn it down. I don't think you should. It's a bit rude. Um, but anyways, so this is a fragrance 
Constantinople. I have to unbox it with you guys. That's the whole point, the whole experience. You know, I have to unbox it on camera with you guys. I absolutely love the packaging. It's got this whole like, would I say, um, what do they call these things? Oh, I went on one when I was in Dubai. Air balloons, hot air balloons. It's got hot air balloons on it. I tried to do a bit of research. What's the link of the um, hot air balloons to Constantinople? But I couldn't find anything. Let us unbox it. <laughs> okay i do love a good unboxing and there it is and then whew, look at that it is beautiful it literally looks like a christmas perfume it's it's got that green it's got the red it's got the gold i mean these are christmas colors stunning it is beautiful i mean if you're looking for something to gift somebody i highly recommend a penhaligon's perfume actually because the packaging for penhaligon's perfumes are quite quite beautiful let's get the bottle out ooh, ooh, ooh. okay let's just spray it oh god so let's spray ooh, look at that look at that look at that juice oh my god it it commands a feeling a reaction oh oh my god oh my goodness this is stunning this is tea. Um, let me be in myself I drink perfume because as I opened my mouth and sprayed it, it has literally gotten on my tongue. Uh, see, when I talked about Cairo, I know I was giving drama dramatics in that video. Cairo is elite. If you don't want to make people feel too bad like that, but you want them to know who you are, but you don't want them to feel too bad. You are just like, mm, let me just take it easy on these people. You know when, when people offend you or they, they, they try to underestimate you, then people now come and say, oh, please forgive him. And you're just there like, mm, mm, mm. You're, you're halfway between, should I forgive them? Should I not forgive them? That's Constantinople. It's not the most. It's just enough to let people know that you are the ish. This perfume, if you still want to negotiate salary, because... With Cairo, you're not negotiating. You're not talking. You're not having conversation. Cairo is like, see, I'm here. I've said it. I've said what I've said. And that's it. With this one, you still want to have small conversation. But you don't want them to waste your time. Talk quick. I'm, I'm out of here. I have business. I have, I have things to do. That is Constantinople. It's such a beautiful, sweet fragrance. I've been wearing it over the last couple of days. I have been thinking... This kind of gives me a vibe of something in my collection. I kept thinking, what does it give me a similar vibe to? I finally cracked the code. I finally cracked the code. <laughs> so I'ma tell you. I'ma tell you what in my collection that Constantinople smells like. Two fragrances. Let me get them. Two. Just two. You see Electimus Mercurial Cashmere. Very similar to Constantinople. This is sweeter. Electimus Mercura Cashmere, sweeter. Another fragrance in my collection, 100 Silent Ways. Gives me very similar vibes to Constantinople. The difference, 100 Silent Ways, more floral. Constantinople family. Constantinople is more the baby. If I was to put these three fragrances together, this is the mildest. It, they say it's, it's, it's unisex. It leans so both men, women. I think with fragrances, it depends what you want to smell like, what you're comfortable smelling like, and what your preference is. I think it's a very nice bubble. Let, let's look at the notes. I've been talking. The notes for Constantinople are vanilla, iris, lavender, patchouli, geranium, pine, pink pepper, and moss. I'll be honest with you. If I had just seen the notes of this fragrance, I will not touch it. Because there's nothing here, in my opinion, that is exciting. Especially you guys know, I'm an amber floral girl. Amber vanilla. Floral fruity. That's my vibe. That's my juice. That's my thing. But with this one... You're looking here like where's the flower where's the rose where are this the, the notes that would make your you know make make you excited there's nothing really exciting in terms of the notes but trust me it is so well blended it's so beautiful forget notes mm. forget notes oh, hell no. <laughs> because if you look at these notes patchouli moss fine Pink pepper is a bit exciting, but pine, patchouli, iris, you guys know. If you know me on this channel, you know, I don't do iris. I don't do all those things. What I was iris? What's moss? Why am I smelling like, why do I want to smell like moss? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> but trust me, so well blended. So beautiful. Doesn't smell like any of these things. I don't even know what geranium is. But it doesn't smell like all these things. It just smells like a fresh 
a bit spicy type of fragrance that is not doing the most in terms of longevity it is not necessarily you get it on yourself for like four hours after which you will need to top up it's not the most long lasting that's what annoyed me a bit about it because it's such a nice fragrance i really like the fragrance i would have hoped that you is the sort of fragrance you wear go out throughout the day and you have it smelling on you all day no i think this one you'll need to top up i think this one you need to keep it in your bag you need like a little one in your bag to just keep topping up this is the sort of fragrance you actually want on yourself all day because it's very tolerable it's the sort of fragrance that you can layer with a floral fragrance a tuberose type fragrance it's the sort of fragrance you can also layer with a vanilla fragrance sweet fragrance if you want it to smell more sweet you layer it with a vanilla fragrance if you want it to smell a bit more floral you you layer it with a floral fragrance to give you exactly what you need it's a very flexible type fragrance that will go anywhere you want it to go depending on what you layer it with because you know there are some fragrances that even if you layer them <laughs> The fragrance is the fragrance no matter what you layer it with you will still be getting that fragrance the way it is but with this one it is that adaptable type of fragrance that you layer it with anything and it will just easily give you exactly what you're looking for i think with this one 175 pounds should be able to get you a bottle i've got the 100 ml i believe they also do it in the 30 ml if you're looking for a penhaligon's fragrance that is not the portrait line okay um because what i would hate to do is see if you're looking for a penhaligon's fragrance and you don't want something that is too strong and overpowering like Cairo and Halfetti. Then I'll say Constantinople is the next best thing that you should definitely, definitely look at. Because loads of people talk about Cairo, loads of people talk about Halfetti. Most times when people talk about open Halligons, those are the two fragrances they will most times talk about outside the portrait line. Portrait line, of course, changing constant. Then Lord George, I think is quite popular as well. If you're looking for something outside the portrait line that is not Halfetti and Cairo, you want to go somewhere else because other people are going here and you want to go the other way then constantinople i would say is one of the next best things from if not the next best thing from penhaligons sample it i wouldn't say it's not a safe blind buy but also i am conscious that i have gotten to a certain place in my fragrance journey where i would say this is a safe blind buy for me just because of where i have gotten to in my fragrance journey if this is your you're just exploring penhaligons it's your first time you've heard about penhaligons you've come across my video and now you're like oh okay i want to get something from penhaligons to be honest go for cairo if you like wood if you are my ninja person go for cairo but if you're somebody who doesn't like strong perfumes then definitely go for constantinople what who do i see when i see constantinople i see a woman who is very confident in herself but is not loud who is very nice and pleasant to people but is not a pushover i see a woman who only speaks to people when she's spoken to and i think of constantinople i see a woman who doesn't give her phone number out she's the sort of woman that you would ask her for a phone number she'll tell you you give me yours i'll give you a call that is the lady that wears constantinople for a guy the guy that wears Constantinople is the guy who has a babe that has got Constantinople. So they're both sharing it. Do you see the point? He might not necessarily go out of his way to get this fragrance because there are other really nice fragrances for men from Penhaligons. But he, he, he has his babe. He has his girl who has got this fragrance. And sometimes he just, you know, will go and spray the fragrance. And yeah, there you have it. That is my review of Constantinople from the house of Penhaligons. Now if you have tried this fragrance go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below if you're looking to purchase this fragrance i would say it's a no-brainer i don't think you're going to have anything to lose necessarily by purchasing it well apart from a few hundred pounds all right on that note that brings us to the end of the video i hope you enjoyed this video go ahead and do all of that good stuff guys like share and subscribe please like please share please subscribe and also i see you again in my next video because i look forward to seeing you again in my next video stay beautiful stay blessed hi and bye i think i present my best Oh, you here.